Priscilla Jaco for a word of prayer as we remain standing. Shall we pray? Our Father, we thank you this morning. We are grateful. We thank you for the gift of life, that we are well, and that, Lord, we are healthy enough even to be in this place. We want to say thank you for that gift. We thank you also that this process that has taken months to put together painstakingly is with us, and we are able to congregate over the next three days to discuss matters that are important for the consumers of the world. And so, Lord, we ask as we go forward that you would give us clarity of mind, you would give us unity of purpose, that our deliberations may yield fruit for the consumers of the world. We thank you for our guest of honor, His Excellency, uh, Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, Riga de Gashagwa. We thank you for all the other guests that have joined us from all the four corners of the world, and we ask that you walk with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. With your courtesy's permission, Your Excellency, may we all have our seats. Your Excellency, sir, it's at this juncture that I may invite the Director General, Consumers International, Madam Helena Laurent. Good morning, thank you for your patience. His Excellency, the Deputy Regati Gachakua, Honorable Minister. Should we try again? It is both an honor and a privilege to welcome you to the Consumers International Global Congress 2023. Every four years, the Consumers International Global Congress brings together our members, the leading consumer advocates fighting for a fair, safe, and sustainable marketplace in 100 countries worldwide. We invite with us the foremost actors from across business, government, international organizations, civil society, and academia. We assess together the state of consumer protection and empowerment. We exchange best practice, and we look ahead to shape the future of our marketplace with consumer rights. Every session over the next few days has been designed with great love for connection and collaboration, for learning and for impact. We will focus together on the most important consumer concerns globally, the cost of living, our food systems, the energy transition, the future of fair finance, emerging technologies and the online marketplace, and making sustainable consumption the norm. Our Congress agenda has been built with the guidance of our members at every step, 
In particular, and if they'd like to stand as I mention their names, I would like to recognize the consumer organizations from the Republic of Kenya present here today, including the Youth Education Network, Kenya Consumers Organization, and the Consumer Grassroots Association. Specifically, I wish to acknowledge Samuel Ochiang, who, as I'm sure you know, served as the president of Consumers International from 2007 to 2011. This Congress, <laughs> this Congress would simply not be possible without the generous hospitality of the government of Kenya and the Competition Commission of Kumesa. Their support has enabled us to ensure that no voice is left behind, no voice is left unheard, and that we leave no one behind in the quest for consumer protection and empowerment our most sincere gratitude. Together, let's work towards supporting consumers to build health and resilience and to meet the challenges that lie ahead. Your active participation is crucial in realizing this mission. We must all take a stand for a better, more resilient future for everyone. It's my distinct pleasure now to welcome Dr. Willard Mwemba, Chief Executive Officer of the Kemesa Competition Commission, to the stage for brief remarks. Uh, Your Excellency, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, his Excellency uh, Geoffrey Rigati Gachagua. Um, uh, I also take uh, our cognizance of the presence of senior government officials from Kenya, but also from different parts of Africa. Your Excellency, with respect, permit me to simply ride on the protocols that has been established by my colleague, uh, Helena Laurent. I stand today with great humility, and it's a great honor, Your Excellency, to address you, but also to address our colleagues from all over the world uh, who are global consumer supporters. Thank you very much, Competition Authority of Kenya, Dr. Robert Adano. Thank you very much, Consumer International, Helena Laurent, for we together work tirelessly to make sure that we bring this event to the continent of Africa. This is a clear demonstration that Africa is part of this global consumer movement. Uh, I recall that uh, this started casually a year ago when I was talking to a colleague at Consumer International, Charlotte, and I proposed to her casually that what about bringing this Global Consumer Congress to Africa this time? And that uh, idea excelled and we are here today. We are very grateful. The theme for this year's Global uh, uh, Consumer International uh, Global Congress is very instructive. Building resilient future consumers. It's a very instructive theme, a very guiding theme. We are living in troubled times currently of poly crises, among them wars, geopolitical tensions, global health pandemics, and indeed uh, 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 climate change. These situations have put to test and even threatened the durability of global supply chains, in some instances, even broken them. The ultimate result of this is decimated consumer welfare, but also decimated uh, uh, economic activity. Your Excellency, I also recognize that in the current times that we are living in, we are seeing advancement of technology at an astronomical pace. And in most cases, consumers have been left behind because they cannot catch up due to so many reasons, among them are information asymmetries. Your Excellency, this has resulted in consumer abuses by those who control these tools. Therefore, gatherings like this are very, very important, very important, Your Excellency, to devise solutions to address uh, some, of these, uh, uh, some of these challenges. For this reason, there is need for multi-stakeholder cooperation and collaboration that need is indispensable, especially between competition and consumer authorities, for their ultimate objective is the same. Competition authorities seek to optimize 
uh, consumer interest by creating transparent, competitive, and democratic markets in which firms and undertakings uh, compete for the patronage of the consumer. And as they do that, they, they attempt to create quality products, produce a variety of, of goods, and indeed lower prices. On the other hand, consumer policy protects the interests of an individual consumer at individual con uh, uh, consumer transactions. This is very important, and one of the famous and renowned, renowned uh, personalities in the field of competition law, uh, Professor Richard Wish, who is also the former chairperson of the United States Federal Trade Commission, remarked similarly when he stated that consumer policies are strong complements of consumer laws. Your Excellency, as I conclude, allow me to pose a question to which I'll attempt to respond myself. What legacy do we expect to see from this event? What legacy do we expect to see from the region? The last two days, uh, Your Excellency, there have been a number of consumer meetings here in Kenya, and I was privileged to address colleagues and friends from all over Africa who gathered under the auspices of COMESA, Competition Commission, to uh, 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 discuss and seek solutions to the challenges that we are facing in contemporary times. And I did state and remarked at uh, those meetings that we should not just be a generation, and I reiterate this because it is really coming from my heart, that we should not just be a generation that identifies challenges, complains and complains a lot, delivers wonderful speeches like this, but do nothing at the end of the day. We should be a generation that will propose and devise solutions for this generation and for so many other generations uh, to come. And Your Excellency, I am of the conviction that with the support of the member states government, and indeed with the support of our friends beyond Consumer International, the US Federal Trade Commission, the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development, among others, I am convinced, Your Excellency, that that legacy will be established. I thank you. May I invite Dr. Adana Roba, uh, the Acting Director of the Competition Commission of Kenya, to the stage. His Excellency, Rigadi uh, Gashawa, the President of the Republic of Kenya, all protocols observed, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It's a great pleasure for me to welcome you all to Nairobi this morning. And His Excellency, the Competition Authority of Kenya, has a consumer protection mandate which we have enforced since 2010. We have worked with several sector regulators, Central Bank of Kenya, Energy Regulatory Authority of Kenya, the Communication Authority of Kenya on consumer and competition matters. Your Excellency, over the years, we have World Consumer Association of Kenya, including Consumer Information Network, Consumer Protection, Consumer Downtown Association, Consumer Grassroots Association, Consumer uh, Insurance Agencies, Kenya Consumer Organizations, and the Youth Education Network in our country. Your Excellency, we have impacted over 30 million of Kenyans through consumer protection mandate of the authority, and we'll be able to learn more in this forum in terms of our contribution to consumer uh, issues in our country and also in the region. Your Excellency, I would like to stop here, and I would like to take this opportunity to humbly welcome our chairman, Shaka Karayuki, to address the congregation. Welcome, Chair. His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa, Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, distinguished guests, Standing with all established protocols, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It is with immense pleasure and honor 
that we convene here for the 2023 Consumer International Global Congress in the vibrant and beautiful city, Nairobi, Kenya. This Congress is a pivotal platform to deliberate and start addressing the pressing issues defining the consumer rights landscape and advocacy in our global community. Our shared commitment to these issues transcends borders and embodies the spirit of cooperation and advocacy. This year's Congress carries significant importance as we navigate an increasingly complex and interconnected world. In this era of globalization, technological advancements, and ever-changing market dynamics and social economic realities, the discussion topics are not only relevant, but imperative and timely. As we gather, we are called upon to collectively and, cri and critically explore and champion the themes that underscore this Congress. I am proud that the Competition Authority of Kenya, in partnership with Consumers International and Commerce Competition Commission, is playing a pivotal role in shaping consumer protection in the region. Major steps have been taken by the authority to protect consumers, especially in the financial services sector. Some of our past interventions, such as ensuring fees and charge transparency in digital financial services for transactions conducted through the mobile phone, have positively impacted over 30 million Kenyans. Other key interventions have also been in the areas of microfinance, telecommunications, fast-moving consumer goods, among others. As we embark on discussions during the, the conference uh, over the next three days, let us not forget the power we hold as a collective. This Congress is not just a gathering of minds, but a convergence of agents of change. It is our unified commitment, collaborations, and actionable initiatives that will shape the future of consumer rights and advocacy worldwide. Let us use this platform to not only articulate concerns and challenges, but also propose tangible solutions, actionable uh, strategies, and commitments that will resonate and make a real difference in the lives of consumers worldwide. I am confident that our time here will not only be characterized by thought-provoking discussions, but also by the emergence of shared visions, collaborations, and actionable outcomes that will drive a positive change for consumers everywhere. Thank you for being part of this pivotal journey, and I look forward to the fruitful exchange of ideas and commitments over the next few days. Together, let us champion consumer rights and create a world where every consumer is informed, empowered, and protected. Now, I have the unique pleasure and honor to invite His Excellency Ligadi Gashagwa, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, to come and address us. Ladies and gentlemen, let us now be upstanding for the Deputy President. Please be seated. The Chairperson, Competition Authority of Kenya, Shaka Karyuki, the Director General, Consumers International, Helena, the Chief Executive Officer, Commercial Competition Commission, Dr. Willard Mwemba, the Acting DG, Competition Authority of Kenya, Dr. Adana Roba, Advocates of Consumer Rights, Distinguished Delegates, Ladies and Gentlemen, good morning. Kenya is honored to host the 2023 Consumers International Global Congress in Nairobi, the first in Africa since establishment in 1960. It is a mark of confidence in Kenya's strides in advancing consumer protection. On behalf of our President, His Excellency Dr. William Ruto, I say Karibu Nisana Nairobi. This is an important 
conversation taking place in Kenya when great progress is being made globally in protection of consumers. It is also a time that electronic commerce is growing in folds with estimated sales surpassing 5.7 trillion US dollars globally. Last year, electronics and media devices and fashion commanded 41% and 31% of the market share respectively. It is estimated that our country's e-commerce will hit the 4.2 billion US dollars in the next four years. This is not unique to Kenya. The digital evolution is changing how we do business, enhancing customer experience. The online experience can only be sustained if we, the policymakers and influencers, go a step ahead of threats and traps in e-commerce, including financial fraud, ransoms, among others. It is commendable that Kenya is among the few countries in Africa which have made substantive progress in the establishment and implementation of e-transaction laws, cybercrime laws, data protection privacy laws, consumer protection laws, among other key frameworks of protecting consumers in the physical and digital spaces. The Competition Authority of Kenya has made remarkable strides in the protection of consumers through various mechanisms since establishment, passed one to the Constitution of Kenya 2010, and enabling legislation thereof. Distinguished delegates, while we celebrate this success, a United Nations and Kenya Association of Manufacturers report indicate that consumers in our country are exposed to exploitation. For instance, Two out of five medicines on the shelves are counterfeits, a factor that only, not only endangers the lives of consumers, but also injures confidence in modern treatment. On the other hand, the Kenya Anti-Counterfeit Authority indicates that 30% of counterfeit goods are locally manufactured, while the other 70% are smuggled into the market through our borders. Illicit trade negatively impacts investments, reducing job creation and revenue. In 2018, we lost about 155 billion Kenya shillings in illicit trade. This is not unique to our country. Other countries with gaps in law or enforcement are in a similar predicament. According to the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development, out of 142 countries, only 52% of those under the research from Africa have robust e-commerce protection laws. Globally, there was no data in 52 countries pointing to an exposure to exploitation of consumers online. Because of the global connectedness of the physical and digital marketplace, harmonization of the consumer protection laws is key for unified application in various jurisdictions. This is important, especially in Africa, where countries are at different stages and levels in consumer protection. This is why the theme, Building a Resilient Future for Consumers, is an important conversation to states as they rush to deliver on the Sustainable Development Goals and other blueprints like the Kenya Kwanzaa Plan. Countries like Kenya may boast of strong legal frameworks on protection of consumers. But the blossoming of illicit trade points to possible limited awareness among the public. Raising awareness on such threats is critical to consumer protection. With the violation of consumers evolving with technology, national and transnational legal provisions will be less effective and possibly obsolete if reviews are not updated. For instance, Digital payments in Kenya are on the rise, like the rest of the world. The, the indigenous m -Pesa mobile service has transformed digital payments. As mobile banking and digital payments keep rising, more consumers' issues emerge. Relevant laws must be aligned to meet the demands of such developments. Further, adoption of artificial intelligence to track, arrest, and suppress the networks of consumer exploitations 
across the world cannot be gainsaid. Integration of such technology in consumer protection mechanisms is an assured way of effectively delivering on your mandate to beyond the borders in a complementary manner. This is one of the key conversations that needs to be explored comprehensively to inform the outcome of 2023 edition of this Congress. Drawing from the varied international experiences, this gathering is a platform for dialogue, exchange of ideas, good practices, and forging partnerships in global consumer protection frameworks. On this note, I again express my gratitude to Consumers International for choosing Nairobi as the host city for this significant event. The outcome will have a lasting impact on the global consumer protection landscape. It is now my pleasure to declare the 2023 Nairobi edition of the Consumers International Global Congress officially open. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mine is just to wish you well and wish you very fruitful deliberations so that the outcome of this edition here in Nairobi can enrich the lives of our consumers across the world. For those who have come to Nairobi and Kenya for the first time, I want to say Karibu Nisana, welcome. Kenya is a beautiful country. Please enjoy our hospitality. Take time from this Congress to visit our national parks, to see the big five, the lion, the elephant, the rhino, the buffalo, and all other animals. And those, <laughs> those who may have time, uh, please uh, fly to the city of Mombasa and enjoy our exotic beaches, white sand, do a bit of sunbathing and enjoy the best of our tourism. And of course, most importantly, leave some dollars and euros behind <laughs> for, for, our, for our economy. For those who may feel that this is a good place, please don't go. Stay around for Christmas and the New Year. <laughs> Hang around with us and enjoy our hospitality. Thank you very much, Asante. Your Excellency, sir, kindly remain on the dais for a brief photo session flanked by the State Minister of Ethiopia, Honorable Tishale Kefene, Director General Consumers International, Director and CEO Comesa, Chairperson Com Competition Authority of Kenya, and Dr. Adano Roba. For the second photo, we'll have the current president and the former president of Consumers International flanking the Deputy President. The former presidents and the current one. I think the communication team we are done. Ladies and gentlemen, kindly retreat from the desk as we leave His Excellency the Deputy President for the national anthem.